Lately, you might have heard of the term gallium nitride. Gallium nitride. Gallium nitride. Gallium nitride. You might have seen it printed on a product, like a phone charger. And people tend to describe it as a future of semiconductors. But actually, what is it? Is it really the future? Let's talk about that. Gallium nitride, or GAN, is a binary... No. So basically, gallium nitride is a chemical compound consisting of gallium and nitrogen. It can be used as an electrical conductor, just like silicon that is being used widely in semiconductors, like a processor on your computers. Silicon is everywhere. In fact, earth crust is 30% silicon. It's a super common element. It's easy to find, cheap, and it's literally everywhere. So why are we moving to something else? It turns out, we are approaching the theoretical limit of how well the silicon can be used as a conductor. But technology must improve, right? We can't just stop because we have reached a limit of one substance. So here comes gallium nitride. Gallium nitride is more efficient at conducting electricity than the commonly used silicon. Efficiency-wise, gallium nitride only loses about 1% of energy when conducting electricity, while silicon loses about 3. It might not sound like much, but it's 3 times less energy we'll be losing. And if you think of a larger scale of use, like every smartphone, every computer, every electric car, that's huge! But that's all in theory. So do you actually benefit from using gallium nitride in the real world? Today, let's test it out with a simple method. A charger. Here, we have a 65 watt gallium nitride charger from Xiaomi. And here, we have a 65 watt silicon charger from ZMI. We'll test it out by charging a laptop from 3 to 100% to see whether the gallium nitride is actually more efficient than the silicon. Oh, and the reason we started at 3 is because this laptop tends to shut itself down at 2. We will be monitoring the amount of electricity used through this power meter, and in the end, we will be comparing how many watt hour each charger consumed. What do you guys think? Will the gallium nitride be more efficient than the silicon? Pause right now and go comment down below. And a little disclaimer, just keep in mind that this is just comparing two chargers. There are tons of chargers out there that could result in a similar or a totally different ways. And after days of testing, these are the results. Here, we're looking at the efficiency of the chargers. So basically, we're looking at how much energy it used to fill up the battery. Therefore, time is not important. Gallium nitride charges the laptop from 3 to 100% in 2 hours and 3 minutes, consuming a total of 83 watt hour. While the silicon charger did the same thing in 2 hours and 9. A little slower, but this time using a total of 82 watt hour. Which really surprises me because I was expecting more efficiency from the gallium nitride charger. But it turned out the silicon charger is even more efficient. A little disappointing, but the difference is only 1 watt hour. Yes, the silicon still wins, but practically 1 watt hour wouldn't affect your electricity bills to make a noticeable difference anyway. Take a look at this graph. Both lines are pretty much identical throughout the graph. So essentially, the gallium nitride and the silicon charger have pretty much the same energy efficiency. But for time, even though they both charge at 65 watt, the gallium nitride charges 6 minutes faster than the silicon at 2 hours and 3 minutes versus 2 hours and 9, which is around 3% difference. So technically, it's a 3% more efficient in charge time. But that's not what we wanted to know in this test. But after the test, I was worried about the compatibility issue with the cable. 
since both chargers came with their own C2C cable and I used the cable it came with during the test. So I also switched the cable to see if there's any difference when we did not use the cable it came with. And to my surprise once again, the gallium nitride loose. And this time it's an 8 watt hour difference. It took gallium nitride 2 hours and 21 minutes to fully charge the laptop while using a total of 92 watt hour. While the silicon charger only uses 84 watt hour within a time of 2 hours and 19 minutes. There is definitely a cable compatibility factor to be worried in as well. I would say use the cable that came with the charger because they will be the most compatible for that charger. And again, keep in mind that this test is just comparing two chargers and the test wasn't even really scientific. This test can't be taken into account for other chargers. And the final question is, is gallium nitride really the future? I would say there is an opportunity. Gallium nitride technology has been around for some time now, but it just happened to be more widely known just a couple years ago. So this might be the time we take gallium nitride technology to more commonly used products. Smartphone chargers are one of the many good starts. Only time will tell. So, what do you guys think? Do you think gallium nitride is really the future? Is there anything else you want us to test it out? Comments down below and don't forget to press like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon for more contents in the future. See you guys next time. Stay safe.